It was the 26th of May 2008. Dawa Stephen Sherpa pushed towards the top of the world, the summit of Mount Everest, for the second time. This time he was determined to use this highest platform on earth to call for action to address the threats from climate change. My name is Dawa Sherpa. I'm on the top of Mount Everest. As you can see all around us, there's ice and snow and glaciers. But it's predicted by that by 40 years, all this will have melted away. Not only will this be a loss for us mountaineers, this is a treasure for us, but it is also a vital necessity for billions of people who depend upon these glaciers for water. Whether one reaches the summit of Mount Everest for the first time, the second time, or the hundredth time, the next step is always inevitable. Descending to ground reality. For Dawa Stephen, ground reality was going to be the beginning of his personal Everest. A vision to help mountain communities under imminent threat of glacial lake outburst floods, GLOFs. He saw that climate change was causing ice and snow to melt faster. Many of the big glaciers were creating large numbers of glacial lakes. As the heat increased, the ice melted faster. The water level increased rapidly, and only brittle moraine, held together by ice, kept these huge lakes in check. Any day, the brittle moraine could collapse and unleash a glacial lake outburst flood. A vertical tsunami would rush down, gathering speed and force, destroying everything in its path. Families living in the mountain communities, especially the young men and women, need help to adopt measures that will save their lives and help them look after and protect their most valuable inheritance, the environment. As a mountaineer, I nearly lost my life on two different occasions. Once in a huge glacial collapse and once in a rock fall, both due to increasing temperatures and a lack of winter snowfall. But it's not just us mountaineers who are at threat. In fact, local people who live downstream from the runoff from these glaciers are also at threat. 1.3 billion people drink the waters that flow down from the Himalayas. And it's also predicted that in 50 years, all the glaciers in the Himalayas will have melted away. I'm very proud to have the opportunity to work with WWF on the Climate for Life campaign to draw the attention of the world on this burning issue. The situation is urgent. If we don't do something about it now, the disastrous consequences will be felt by all of us within our lifetime. Climate change is not a religion or dogma or philosophy. One cannot say, I believe in climate change or I do not believe in climate change. It is real, it is here to stay and it is threatening the very existence of mountain communities. The Digchaw Glof in 1985 was triggered by an ice avalanche from the Langmoche Glacier, an ice mass of nearly 200,000 cubic meters dislodged and plunged into the lake. Local witnesses say the flood surged down the valley like a huge black mass of water and debris. Behind me by the river is the site of the old Namcha hydropower plant and uh, it used to stand here until 1985 when the Dikcho Glof washed it out. It was newly built and operational when the, the Glof came. It cost 1.4 million dollars and was built with the aid of the Austrian government. Today, as you can see, there's nothing left of that apart from the canal that feeds the water or used to feed the water into the turbines. Nearly 30 houses in the valley were reportedly lost. Arable land and forests were destroyed. Affected population became environmental refugees in a matter of minutes. Appa Sherpa reached the summit of Mount Everest for a record 19th time in 2009 with the Eco Everest expedition. He and his family lived in Tame when the Dikcho Glof occurred. They lost most of their belongings and livestock and were fortunate to escape with their lives. Talking about climate change at high altitudes, Appa Sherpa says. Uh, 
तो कर देखे जी मतलब ते ओ पहले तो डांसर है ये स्पाल ऐसे को डांसर मतलब देरी चेंज देख रहे हैं सही ले पहले को ठीक तो लोग कती छेदी करो ते अनुसार वाला यो जन यो यमसा से टूल यमसा लेक टूल हो सही तो मेरे को यो को मतलब कती को छेदी छेदी होला सबैले अब मिले रखिए करे राम रो सबैले मिले रा ये लोग से नहीं रोकना कला के सबैले से नहीं एकदम कदम साल ने साल ने पोरी होती इन ऑर्डर टू टर्न विजन्स एंड सेंटिमेंट्स इनटू एक्शन दावा स्टीवन फॉर्म्ड आइडियाज इनिशिएटिव्स फॉर डेवलपमेंट एंड इको एक्शन सपोर्ट ए नॉन प्रॉफिट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आइडियाज वुड एक्ट एज ए कैटलिस्ट to encourage initiatives by mountain communities to tackle the broad spectrum of risks that they faced due to climate change. Dawa Stephen learned that the Imja Chol Lake at an altitude of more than 5,000 meters was one of the most immediate threats in the Everest region. From being virtually non-existent in 1975, Imja Chol covered nearly one square kilometer in 2006. It is a glacial lake that is the fastest growing in the entire Himalaya and likely to burst its banks at any time. Should this happen, the resulting glough would not only cause destruction in the mountain region, but would also affect the lower mountains and hill communities and even the dense population of the Gangetic Plains. Dawa Stephen decided to start with his own community in the Everest region. His home village, Kumjung. Individuals, families, and communities were aware of the tragic consequences of gloves. They were now ready for action. They want scientists, engineers, environmentalists, mountaineers, well-wishers, and all mountain lovers to support and guide their initiatives to tackle the problem. Dawa Stephen Sherpa, Chief Coordinator Ideas. Yeah, okay, boy. When I hear the researchers are here, Imja lai here, and so many other things are going on. You see, a threat, much a threat, much a one. I am local basin da lagi feeling boy when I hear. Yeah, I just say, you problem say, how much are going to pull in? I was solution much I know. Solution say, why? When I say, I am going to tell you about it. Why? 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 अब जो हमी एक्शन तीर लग्न पर्यटन हम फिलिंग अभी यही कारण हमें यह इमजा छो एक्शन इवेंट बने यो एक्शन इवेंट कने भादा खेल अब अवेरनेस बड़ हम एक्शन में जानूपर् पहल तो हम सब पे एक तो स्थानीय बासिंदा पे क्या यहाँ तो वहाँ को जे जी सारा संपत्ति उन्को लाइफ नहीं यहीं भोलि बगा गए तो कह जाने जो अभी हिम नदी मेल्ट भर गई रखे पग्ले गई रखे चालीस वर्ष में इस मोड के अनुसार चालीस वर्ष में यह हिमालय में सब मेल्ट भर जाने हिंद में जो खोला में पानी आँच तो पानी भी नाने भाई हम ये इंडिया अभी बांग्लादेश मत कर वन पोइ थ्री बिलियन मानी हम पानी यहाँ हिमालयन ग्लेशियर बड़ पानी खाँच भोलि वन पोइ थ्री बिलियन ने पानी पाने वाले के हो Dawa Steven and the Ideas team convinced the Sherwi Yongden Chokpa, a Sherpa students group, to take the initiative to organize the Imja Cho Action Event 2009, a tipping point from awareness and education into action. It took more than a year of frequent field visits and networking with all stakeholders to turn this vision into reality. The action event was held for two days. On the 18th of June during the Beat the Glove Action Run 113 participants from villages in the Everest region showed the world what lay in the path of destruction. On the 19th of June the Kumbu Festival organized by local residents and youth clubs in Kumjung village showcased to the world all that was at risk the culture the heritage and the crucial role of the mountain community in maintaining and protecting the mountain environment. Earlier during May and June 2009, the International Center for Integrated Mountain Development, ICMOD, Ideas and Sherwi Yonden Chokpa jointly organized competitions for students in the Kumbu. The theme was Climate Change Voices of Kumbu's Children. 
Students in Khumbu schools were encouraged to look at the environment in a new way and to assess their own impact. Primary school students expressed their concern in their paintings. Students from 11 senior schools in the Khumbu wrote to world leaders about the adverse effects of climate change on the Himalaya and sought their support to help save lives. A selection of the paintings and the letters are to be taken to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP15, in Copenhagen in December 2009. This initiative by ISIMOD is expected to help create a new generation of environmentally conscious and active mountain stakeholders. On the 17th of June 2009, 113 runners and Shervi Yongden Chokpa volunteers arrived at the Imja Cho base camp, which was hosted by Asian Trekking. This was a day to acclimatize and for final registration. Miki Upreti, Japanese journalist in Nepal since 1990, first person to sign up for the action run. The major sponsor of the Beat the Glove action run was the North Face Nepal. The World Wildlife Fund, WWF Nepal, also supported the action run as part of their Climate for Life campaign 2009. <laughs> the action run started on the 18th of June at an altitude of 5,010 meters above sea level. It would finish the same day at Kumjung village, approximately 35 kilometers away at an altitude of 3,800 meters. <laughs> Volunteers from the Shervi Yonden Chokpa were placed at 12 checkpoints along the action run route to provide water and energy bars to the runners and also basic first aid when required. <laughs> Shervi Yonden Chokpa volunteers, trained in basic use of video cameras in an ideas program, were positioned at various points of the action run to film the runners. <laughs>
946. 946 here. Come on, I need to ask you. 